Hello, and welcome to OpenStax Tutor. This is research-based courseware from the OpenStax team using our peer-reviewed and openly licensed content. If you have an OpenStax faculty verified account, you can log in at tutor.openstax.org with your username and password. And if you don't have an account, you can also create one during this process. So I'll log in with my OpenStax account. And I'll show you the courses we currently have available and I'll give you a brief overview of the product. This is my courses page and you can see that I have one current course, it's college physics up here. I could create a new course if I wanted. And I have a preview course for each subject that we have available. Right now we have OpenStax Tutor available in seven subjects for fall 2020. In fall 2021, we plan to add psychology and anatomy and physiology to this group. I'll open up the college physics preview course, which is populated with demo data. So you can get an idea of how analytics look, uh, how assignments look with students in them. And I highly recommend that you take a look at these preview courses on your own. You can explore the gradebook, some performance forecast details, assignment details, and you can even take a look at the student view, which I'll show you a little bit more of in a second. The first thing I want you to know is we have a couple of very useful help tools. So I'm gonna go up to this help menu and show you how you can access those. The first is page tips. So the very first time you log into an OpenStax tutor course, you will get this dashboard tour. It's gonna to show you around the basics of the software. If you don't wanna take the tour, the first time you log in, you don't have to, you can exit out of it and then you can always find it, like I said, back in the help menu. Many of the pages in OpenStax Tutor have page tips. So if you're looking at performance forecast, for example, and you want a little bit more information, you can again come up to the help menu and click on page tips. We also have a getting started guide here that you can click and download in your browser. You can save this as a PDF. Uh, and you can peruse this, take a look at all of the features that are available in OpenStax Tutor. You can see screenshots, you can get uh, more in-depth information via some of our help articles, but this is a really handy tool to have available, especially as you're using the software for, for your first time. All right, now that we have that out of the way, let me talk about OpenStax Tutor's main navigation up here on this Quick Links nav bar. You can access a browse the book view. So this is a reference view of the college physics textbook. You can highlight and take notes in that view. You can also access your question library. So your OpenStax Tutor course comes with a library of assessments for both reading assignments and homework assignments. In the question library, you can see details for each of those assessments uh, and decide how you want to use them. You can also access your gradebook and your performance forecast, which is a way to get a visual look at how your class is doing overall for each chapter and section that you've taught. Over here on the left, you can open this assignment panel and add assignments to your calendar. You can also simply click on a calendar date and add assignments that way. But something I want to make sure you know about before you start creating assignments is this grading templates page. If you go to grading templates, you'll see a template for reading and a template for homework. You can add your own templates. If you don't have any assignments that are using these templates, you can edit these templates. Um, but the grading templates are ways for you to set global policies so that you don't have to do that for each assignment. So you can set late work policies, you can decide when you want students to see feedback, and you can decide how scores will be calculated for reading assignments. I'm gonna go back to my dashboard and just make sure you know about a couple of other things. If you wanna see your course as a student would see it, you can click on view a student from any course. I'm gonna click the first section. And I'm gonna look at section one as a student in this section. So you'll be able to look at reading assignments, homework assignments, you can even work these assignments if you want. 
Uh, and as you work assignments, you'll see your own performance forecast in your student dashboard. So any assignments that you've opened to students, they'll be able to see here uh, either in this week's work or in work coming up or in past work. All right, I'm gonna exit the student view. And I'm gonna show you one more thing, uh, which is very important to getting started, and that is student enrollment. I'm going to leave my preview course to do that. So I'm gonna go back to my courses. The reason I'm leaving the preview course is because we don't allow you to enroll students in these. Uh, we just don't want you to make a mistake and accidentally enroll students in a preview course. So I will show you this from my real college physics course. To enroll students, you're gonna to go to Menu, Course Settings, and then you'll see your student access options. So you can do one of two things. You can either give students direct links um, by section. So each section will have its own link. Students will click on that link, begin the enrollment process, and they will be enrolled in that section. So you can copy and paste these to your syllabus or to your LMS um, or to an email. Totally up to you how you want to do that. Your other option is integrating with your learning management system. So you could integrate with Blackboard, Canvas, Moodle, D2L, and a couple of others. If you decide that you want to do this, you can't have any students enrolled yet. So you have to pick one choice, either give students direct links or uh, integrate with your learning management system. So make sure you make that decision before students start to enroll. This is also where you can change the name of your course. If you want to reset your course time zone, you can. I'm going to go back to my courses. And again, encourage you to take a look at the preview courses that are available here for you. And then make sure that you take a look at some of the other videos in our YouTube channel for more in-depth information on OpenStax to your features.